Hi, I'm Camille Roskilly of Thimble Blossoms and Bonnie and Camille, and today I'm gonna show you how I bind my quilts. I used to exclusively hand bind my quilts. I loved sitting in front of a, the TV and watching a good show and binding my quilts, but time doesn't always allow that. So I started machine binding my quilts a few years ago, and now that is definitely my favorite way to do it. So I'm gonna show you how I do that and uh, give you a few of my best tips and tricks. So before we get started, I'm gonna tell you a few uh, details about my setup. I always trim my quilts, once they're quilted, uh, all the way to the edge, and I use a two and a half inch binding strip that's pressed in half. I press my seams uh, on my bindings open, but I also do a straight seam, only because this is the way my mom does it and the way I was taught, so that's the way I like to do it. I bind with my Juki, and I just use my regular quarter inch foot. I love my Juki, by the way, in case you guys haven't tried it. All right, so let's get started. I leave about a six inch tail usually when I bind, and I like to start close to one of the corners just so I can get one out of the way um, pretty quick. I use about a two and a half to three on the stitch length on my machine. And I know it's hard to tell on this because we just have a whole cloth quilt, but I sew it to the back first. So then I'm gonna wrap it around to the front of the quilt and stitch it there afterwards. So pretend this is the back of your quilt that you're stitching to. You're gonna come all the way to uh, the corner and stop a quarter of an inch from the end, back stitch a few stitches, and pull that off. You're gonna fold it away from the quilt and then back toward the quilt, making that perfect mitered corner. Then I'm gonna take a pin and um, just secure it there. So uh, once you turn it, you're just gonna sew along the edge there and mine might look a little bit off, but partly that's because I'm sewing on a machine that's a little different than mine but also sewing standing up is trickier than it looks. Kimberly makes this look really easy. All right, so when I get to the end, I leave a gap about uh, eight inches or so, and I'm gonna pull it off my machine and join those two ends together. Now, there's a lot of controversy about this. Some people uh, join it on the diagonal, some people join it straight, I join it straight. Again, just my personal preference. There's no real wrong way to do this. Well, there might be, but this isn't it. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna open that up and sew these two together, right where my pin was. And then I'm gonna trim off that extra fabric a quarter inch from my stitch line. I finger press this, but you could also press it with your, with your iron. I just finger press that open and fold it over and lay it nice and flat on my quilt. And then just keep sewing down the end, down the edge. until you get to where you started. All right, so now that we have it all sewn to the back of the quilt, I'm gonna show you how to turn it around to the front and get that perfect finished edge. So imagine this is the front of your quilt. And then I'm gonna um, bring the binding around to the front and secure it with one of my binding clips. We will link to those below as well in case you haven't used them, they're pretty great. So I'm going to put a clip every oh, six inches or so, but when I get to the corner, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna fold the bottom up and you're gonna, you're gonna bring it just past that stitch line. So I'm gonna bring this up just past the stitch line and I'm gonna put the clip there. And then I just have this little corner to figure out. I'm gonna pull it on the bottom first so it goes straight across on the bottom, and then I'm gonna bring the other side back to meet it. And when I do that, it's gonna have that really nice little miter. And I'm gonna take a pin, and I'm going to go right over the line, just like this. 
See that? All right, so now that this is all secure, I can start stitching. And I'm just gonna do that every time I get to one of the corners. Now, again, I'm just using my regular quarter inch foot that came on my Juki. Some people like to use a walking foot. This is the way I do it, mainly because it's already on my machine. Take your time. You don't have to rush through this, especially your first few bindings that you do. This part's gonna be a little bit tricky. All right, so when I get to that corner, I'm gonna go one stitch past that edge of the binding. Then I'm gonna flip it up and turn it. And then keep going. And the hope is when I flip this over, I'm gonna have a perfect corner. Some are more perfect than others. And you can see it goes right into the corner there. And this is the back of your quilt. So it's gonna have that stitch line just right past the binding on the back. And on the front, you're gonna have this really nice finished edge. All right, now that you know how to bind your quilts with your sewing machine, there's no reason not to tackle that big stack of quilts you've got ready to bind. Make sure to check out the rest of our videos at the Fat Quarter Shop YouTube channel. Thanks.